Yo, what's up guys? It's Andre here with a tutorial on Blender. Blender is an amazing program that you can use to animate stuff. Most people use it to animate Minecraft animations, just like Slam a Cow, uh, Blue Monkey, Captain Sparkles, all those awesome guys. So, let's hop right to it. First, you want to download this link, which will be in the tutorial. It'll download the program Blender. So, if you're on Windows, you just select here and then you select one of these. If you're on Mac, you're here. Next, you have to download this link. This is the Blender rig. If you don't know what a rig is, uh, you'll probably learn by the end of this episode. So you download Blender internal dot zip. If you download Cycles, it will not work. So X this out, X this out. And once it's done downloading, we can open up Blender. So you double click the Blender file and open it up. Now, you see, you're like, whoa, this is really complicated. How do I do this? I thought that at first, but it's actually pretty easy. Basic controls, you need to use a mouse. Trackpads will not work. So the middle button, the scroll button, push it down, and that's to pan around, to move around. If you hold on shift and the middle button, it's to move from side to side, like that. Now, left click, this is to select where you're adding something. Right click is to select a certain item. Like this, there we go, like that. So, first, what you want to do is file, open, and then wherever you downloaded your blender underscore minecraft rig. It will probably be in downloads, so go to downloads. Minecraft Blender Rig, and now, Character Blender Rig, right here. Now you see, you have a Steve character. So, this is the regular Steve guy. When you, when you first open up Blender, he would appear like this, under user preferences. He'd appear up like this. Oh weird, why does he look fuzzy? Here's what you do. You disable mip mapping and anisotropic filtering. Change this off. There we go. Now he looks all Steve like. So, basic controls. This controls this the design. So, let's go through each one of these. This is if you want leg bones, which I suggest you have. This is if you don't want arm bones. Do you want arm bones? I suggest you have those too. This is... I'm not sure how they're supposed to do this, but this is for the double layer. For 1.8 skins, the double layer, like... Uh, they have an outer layer. So, let's just keep this off to reduce lag. Flat face. If you look at it from the side... Down. See? the eyes get inverted and same thing with the mouth I say keep it on it looks much more detailed and nice over here this is if you want fingers no fingers yes fingers but with the fingers there's each little bones that you have to move around so over here no head I don't really get what that is oh yeah first turn click on this magnet so It'll glide smoothly. Here. Hat. Let's say your player has a hat. It will be over here. But it won't be shown until you render the image. But Steve doesn't have a hat, so of course, yeah. This is eyes moved up texture. If you want, if your character has eyes like mine, uh, two by two, you could do this. And now... No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's just to move the eyes up and down. Like, you see the eyes are up here. This is just the skin. Okay, now I move this down. Eyes move up. Uh, yeah, just leave this part here. Yeah, I say you just leave that part here. Now, go to controls. See, if you try to move it around, it won't work. So, uh, also, if this happens, Right click again, it'll go back to its spot. But if you left click, it'll stay there. Command Z to undo. 
Now over here, where it says object mode, switch this to pose mode. So now you can move it around, this, like that, and everything. So what each one of these does, this is the eyebrow. This is to control it, go up, down, and if you want, rotate it to make them look mad. Click on the R, while this is selected, click on the R button, and just rotate. Same thing with this. Make this up a little. There we go. This is the eye size, the pupil size. If you want it fully big, it looks really nice. Fully small, that's pretty, uh, no comment. I say, yeah, I say keep it fully big. This is, like, let's say you want to shut the eyes, like, let's say there's stress, you could do this. And then you could do here. And there. This is for blinking. Oh, oops. There we go. And here. Oh, this is the mouth controls. So the mouth. Let's open it big and wide. Big and wide. See this. Now. Smile. Frown. Smile. Uh, frown. Yeah. This is for the teeth. Let's say you want to have teeth. Uh, sorry, let me just move this. This is for the teeth. Oh, no. Let's just make them smile. This is for the teeth. Like that. And now, render, render image. Oh, um. Something's messed up. Oh. He doesn't have a hat, right? So we take this off. Render, render image. There we go. And you see, this is what it looks like. This is what he would actually look like. He won't look like this. Because, like, it doesn't have the shading. It doesn't have the nice-looking textures. It just looks all better when it's rendered. Let's just get, get rid of the fingers. It's really annoying me, my OCD. Um, yep, that's the basic controls. And now, do not move the body around. Because, look, like, if you move the body, it'll get all glitched up because it's not connected to the bones. So, yeah. Now, select the bones. The bones. And you'll see this highlighted. You click on object mode. Change it to pose mode. So now you can e move each little bone. Select this. You can move up and down, lifting weights, yeah. You could move this. If you want to rotate it, select it R. That's to rotate. And then like this. And then we could move his leg like this. Then you see, this is what happens when you move it away from the bones. It gets all glitchy. Now this is just to move the whole body around, the bottom part. So, like this, we can pretend he's kicking. Let's look. You see how there's a cape? Let's say your player doesn't have a cape. You select it, now click on X and delete. And now it's gone. So remember, X is to delete. And, yeah, that's about it for moving. This is the eyes, you can do it like this. Or you can move it all together. That looks pretty creepy. Okay. And, yeah, that's about it. That's moving Steve and your player. Let's say you want to implement your own player. You see this little thing? Drag it closely to the middle. Now, over here, UV slash image editor. editor. Now, click on this and char PNG. And you see, this is the sieve skin. So now, image. Click on replace image. Now, go to desktop. You And just, not desktop, but locate your skin. I have mine on my desktop under YouTube, Smashcraft, skins. There's mine, uh, Ryan's, and Marcus's. Remember, you have to have it in a 1.7 skin. So just be aware of that. If you don't know how to, you can search up some tutorials. There's plenty of those. Let's just use my skin. So render, render image. 
You see, everything looks all weird and glitchy, right? So, let's just move this a little bit to the side. I'm going to move the eyebrows up just so it fits with my skin. Uh, yeah, that looks better. So, let's just zoom in. Since he has a, he already has a mouth, but he has a mouth on the skin. So just think that the mouth is paint, so it looks like a weird mustache. So over here, where it says view, click on this, and now click on paint. Click on T, or if you're using an older version, you can click on N, and this will appear. You'll be somewhere under here, click on tools. Change the radius to 1, so it's 1 pixel, and strength to full. Now click here, and this is the drop pin. We click here, our normal skin color. There we go. Now, render, render image. It's gone, but there's still, it looks really weird. That's because it's not all one color. So we just paint this whole part one color. Or if you want, you could just do the little uh, two bottom rows of the pixels on your skin. Now, Render, render image, and you see, there's no weird lines just getting pulled. And, yeah. And if you ever undo something, like let's say I did something like this and I do Command Z, it undoes the whole paint on the skin, so just be aware of that. Just erase this again. There we go. Okay. And that's all you need for paint, I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, wait, actually, no. Now, when you render it, look. You see, the bottom of my eyes is a nice diamond blue, but this is just a regular blue. And let's say your eyes are red, it will just show up as blue. So you select the head, right-click to select the head. Now click over onto this little nuclear-looking system uh, symbol. Click on eyes, and this will be the color of the eyes. We, if we make it black, render, render image, it'll appear black. So now, again, drop pin over here. Now render, render image. There we go. Uh, I'm going to get to the eyes also later. The eyebrows. That's the same thing with the eyebrows. Let's just make his eyebrows a black color. We could, you could do something for his teeth. Let's make it yellow just to make fun of him. Because no one likes him. Yeah. Uh, the eyes, like the white part of the eyes, like this part. We could make that red. And now render, render image. And you see, it looks really weird. Well, let's just change this back to white. There we go. Render, render image. There we go. And that's all we need for paint. So now we can close this over here. You see when we render it, it's like a little depth in here. Like, it goes in and out. That's where the flat face comes in handy. Flat face. It's one of these ones. Now when you render it, perfect. One quick thing. I rendered animation by mistake. Three of you. Select the head. The eyes aren't always the same color, so select this and this color. Render, render image. Oh, nope. So you just have to play around with the colors just to match your skin. Render, render image. There we go, that's about right. Three of you. And that's basically it I think oh yeah and um, first let's make it just a, f a not flat face let's test out the eyes you see when you move these eyes up it looks weird yeah that's actually pretty creepy so let's move this back down move the eye texture up so this is where the eyes would be Let's move this back down. Over here. I design 2x2. Two two. Render image. That actually looks 
pretty good. If you want to do like a a cross-eyed idiot skin or like a stupid guy. So here, this is this is if you want eyebrows or not. No eyebrows, yes eyebrows. This is how big and small the eyebrows are. And let's say you're doing like a skin sort of like that doesn't really have a good face or like let's say um, a Chewbacca skin. You would do file, open, a simple brig. And now see, it's just a regular guy. It's just, yeah, it's just showing you some stuff. Like that. The moon, the sun, here's a light. Render, render image. So yeah. And that's the end of this tutorial. You learn how to make your guy look cool. Oh yeah, one quick thing. Let's say you're just doing a background. Let's go file, back, open. Let's go back to regular, our regular character. He's ruined. Oh well. Just to change the background color. Because when you render it, the background color looks like a disgusting old gray. So, you go to somewhere over here. The world, the little world symbol the horizon color you can make this white render render image you can make it purple render render image any color on the this color wheel so i want to thank you all for watching please like subscribe and comment for some more well for the next part of this little mini series i guess you could call it see you guys and i hope you enjoyed